Hello everyone, welcome to this quick video about the TP-Link Network Ethernet card for 10 gigabit per second connections as well as 5, 2.5 and 1 gigabit per second. We're talking about the TX401 from TP-Link. It means that you will not always have to have 10 gigabit per second switch. Very quickly, what do you get when you buy one of these cards? Well, you get the card itself, the Ethernet cable, the CD with the drivers for Windows and Linux and a low profile bracket for different chassis. The Ethernet cable that you get is shielded category 6A 1.5 meter cable, which might be enough if you have the switch at a very short distance. You might want to consider uh, buying a cable of category 6A or 7 of the proper length at the same time you buy this card, as these two work together and cabling is a key component of the network speed achieved. The first thing that you have to do is turn off and disconnect your computer, identify a free PCI slot on your motherboard, firmly install the network card and turn the PC back on. In our practice, it installed in no time using Windows 10 and when we inserted the included CD, the computer already had network access. The CD also has drivers for Linux and are also available in the manufacturer's website. That is one of the reasons why we bought this card. Uh, how easy it was supposed to be installed and how good a support you're gonna have from TP-Link. In our networking experience, we managed to achieve our goal. We had a saturated bottleneck to the server that would take too long for a network-based uh, backup to complete. Now taking it only to 40% of the actual capacity of the network, it can manage multiple 1 gigabit per second simultaneous connections to the server, demanding full 1 gigabit per second each. In order for you to manage and take advantage of 10 gigabit per second networks and connections, it might be necessary for you to have SSDs or NVMe drives, um, as mechanical drives may not even get close to such transmission speeds. Some of your clients, especially laptops, may benefit also from having these 2.5 gigabit per second USB 3.0 adapters. These connected to a server or NAS sharing at 10 gigabit per second might be a very enriching network experience. Furthermore, when today we're having greater than 1 gigabit per second internet access. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this was of any help, especially if you are in the decision making process of buying one of these products that we evaluate. Uh, your thumbs up will be greatly appreciated as usual. See you next time.